<clears throat> oh man, it's been a while since I've done this. Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy, kind of like I'm swimming through darkness. When I came to you, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least, I don't think I know her. And then there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not anyway. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot. I have just one little problem. I'm already dead myself. That's just gotta be me. That be me. No question about that. After all, who do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? Do you see any other dead bodies lying around here? So long, sister. I feel bad for her, sure. But what can I do? I'm dead. But just as I was thinking this, there's no time to be lolling around dead. Lolling around dead. The only one who can save her. What the? The whole world just changed on me. Yo, <laughs> long time no see, Chris. Thank you for the sub, man. How are you doing? Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. A voice in my head, who are you? No time for introductions now, you can you have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me? Save her? Uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. Ah, I appreciate it. Playing this demo, I have already beaten this game way back on the DS when it first came out. But I'm excited to play it again when it re when it re releases for uh, modern consoles. Because I very very re very much recommend the game. I was kind of hoping it'd be voice acted because the trailer, you know, had some voice acting in it. But that's that's just how it is. <laughs> how how are you doing? A core? Hmm, just looks like a railway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand is to just try it. First of all, try moving your soul with the directional pad. Next, move your soul across to connect with the core. Congratulations! Your soul has now possessed the crossing gate. So what, now I'm a crossing gate? What's about to call it a day? You know what? I, I was so sleepy when I got home. That I was almost gonna be like, you know, maybe I shouldn't stream today, but I said earlier today on like Twitter that I'm like, that I'm gonna do three demos tonight of uh, games I really wanted to play. First, starting with this one, the next one I'm gonna play will be Lies of P, and then after that, it's gonna be Final Fantasy 16. <clears throat> now then, use the crossing gate to save the woman. What? But how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls that trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. Hehe. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Thank you. Yeah, if you're heading uh if you're heading to bed, thank you for stopping by. Absolutely. Um if you've never played this though, I recommend like trying the demo out. I <laughs> I, I I still very much remember the story, so I, I know what's going on. Now then, time will start to flow again. Hold it! Huh. Well played. Uh, what just happened? That was one of your powers at work, a ghost trick. You mean, I made that crossing gate move? 
That's right, you manipulated that object with the power of the dead, a ghost trick. And all you have to do to perform a trick like that is press X. Now that woman's fate has changed, albeit just a little. Yeah, she still kinda has a gun pointed at her. Yes, hmm, that's not good, is it? But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use her powers. So I enter the ghost world with ghosts, possess an object, and then perform a trick with it, eh? The soundtrack's awesome too. <laughs> now you're getting it, let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. Let's see, I... Mm, oh, that's right, it's a limited uh, thing. I see, a guitar then, is it? <clears throat> hey, what do you want from me? I would've preferred that giant wrecking ball, but that, that would solve the problem real quick, I bet. But I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. Well, I guess we'll see what you can do with that guitar. Let's set time in motion again and find out. He's there! Hold <laughs> it! Uh, that's gotta be some of the lowest, slowest running away I've ever seen. Mm, looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Let's see, what core is close enough to possess from here? Your own dead body. I guess all there is, is me. No time to be picky, I've got a woman to save. I like your attitude, it's admirable, truly, but... But what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own, manipulate my own corpse, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, tell you what, why don't you just try and see? Go ahead and possess your corpse. Alright, now we'll set time in motion. Go ahead and try X. Yep, nothing happens. You're kinda dead. Huh? Nothing's happening. Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You gotta be kidding! Wait, what about the woman? What's happening to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to look around, you can move the screen. Move the screen? It's easy, here, give it a try. So you move the D-pad to move it any direction you want. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My sight and your future. And she did. Out of my way. It's done. I'm on my way. In the end, it looks like her fate remains unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of mine? But just as I was thinking this... Hello there, how are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy, what happened tonight? Ah, ignoring me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. Ah, so it was you. You were that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick ghosts can do. Looks like, looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. She still ended up just as dead as before. That's true, for now. For now? You know, I remember the DS having a demo too now that I think about it. Is that right? Did I play a demo on this? Back on the DS? <laughs> Before actually buying the game? I still have more to teach you about the powers of the dead. Your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman lying here like a discarded piece of trash? 
Well, what can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you just about just uh, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. I might so determined to save this woman. After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on his invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave women lying around discarded like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. That thought bubble you just pressed. Those are your thoughts. What are you trying to say to yourself in your head? A thoughts, eh? So the dead don't have voices. And what we think is communicated directly to one another. So those, these thought bubbles are sort of a stand-in. I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just might get some important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. And L1 is your ticket. In. The best thing to do is to try it. Ah. By the way, have you taken a look at the middle of the screen? What about it? It tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. The information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. Oh, and unfold. So in the case of this folding cot, it looks like I can unfold it. And to perform a trick on the object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of the living. Oh, okay. This time, always should take it out of the ghost world. Well, good luck. We're counting on you. Huh? Who is this we? <laughs> huh. That's funny. What is? My corpse and her corpse. There's definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Now everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. So those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway. <laughs> Congratulations, you passed. What do, what do you... Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power. What else? Another one? Now let's review. You can possess objects and man manipulate them, right? Now what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there is something else you can do. Oh yeah? What's that? Why don't you try it and see? What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm, looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious? But she's dead. Yes, but think back, remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you'd been unconscious too. Unconscious, eh? Come to think of it, the desk lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's see, let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Oh sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past to a time four minutes before that person's death. Are you serious? Back through time? That's right, but there's a catch. It only works on new corpses. Corpses that have been dead for less than one day. And she's still well within that limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. But this is crazy, none of it makes any sense. We're talking about the powers of the dead here, it doesn't have to make sense. Now then, let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Hey, wait a second, I still don't know what you're talking about. Heh <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. So now... Going back to in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as a fuzzy distant memory of the past, but as a very real 
living present. Wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead. Who are you? There's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of hit of a hitman? What do you want with me? They said we had to rub out all the last traces of Tamzik left in this country. There's something Tamzik? There's something right in front of the screen right there that I can't see. It's Tamzik though. Tamsik? What in the world is that? Beats me. I just do what I'm told. All I know is you've got nowhere else to run. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there where it belongs. Look, all I want to know is, who are you? You don't know me, and I don't know you. This is just business. So long, sister. Oh, was that this popped up on the screen? Oh, it did. <laughs> a shotgun? Kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. They call me Nearsighted Jigo, but I never let my prey get away. Ever thought about just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future, and we didn't see part of that because uh, we, were, we were away from the screen. And there you have it, the last four minutes of her life. No! It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate and a man who toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you, and you can change that with your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate, eh? Ghost and then trick. And you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you like to. Now then, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. So this is four minutes ago, eh? Fine, I get that. But what am I doing way down here? That's just how it works. Her corpse was your gateway into the past, after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. And this is where she died. Okay, I get it now. Hop in then. The music's so good. Alright, then. There are only four minutes left before she dies. You had better try and get to her as fast as you can. There's no time to lose. Where are you? I'm not going to repeat the old dialogue. The last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. That's right, have a look at the right side of the screen. The right side, eh? The standing on top of that timer is how much time she has left. Maybe I should move my camera for that. Get to her quickly before all the sand is gone. Up you go then. Yeah, mannequin doesn't do anything, and then the tire rolls. Let's see, before that. Oh no. Time is running out. Hey, I gotta close it again. Ah, right, I remember. Oh, not yet.
Oh, right, right, right. Okay, hold on. No. Hmm. So I need to. Not sure if I can still roll with this here. Nope, it just goes back. Oh, right, I get it. There we go. Hmm. Just a few more steps. Hope I make it in time. That's your chance to, chance to change her fate. There isn't much time left. This is coming down to a battle of seconds. Time is almost up. Slow mo, how are you doing, man? Oh, why is my activity feed gone? It's weird. How have you been? You have to change your fate before the countdown reaches zero. Hmm, time doesn't pass while I'm in the, in the ghost world. I better possess something else, or something fast. Oh right, ringing, okay. Damn it! what's going on here? Nearside Jigo never misses as long as the target is within point blank range. It looks like you made it just in time. Or made it time made it in time, just barely. Yep, she's still alive. And in that split second hope was born. Just now her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. But we're not done yet. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. The bridge is up. You hear something? Okay, let's see. Here we go. How does it feel to save a lady's life? So the danger is gone? Yes, it looks like the danger, Mr. Danger in fact, rode away somewhere. You use your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. And I knew you could do it. So I lost my life tonight and saved somebody else's life. I think that's the end of the demo. Because I literally think this is the same demo. When I came back to the present, it was raining. I had saved the life of this stranger, now sitting forlornly in the rain, even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. Achoo! 
a stranger. That word strikes a chord and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? And most important of all, why was I killed? Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you anyway? Just call me Ray. As in, Ray of Light in the Darkness. <laughs> Ray, huh? So you aren't going to tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet either, actually. I, I can't remember. Yes, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead. And that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. What? Tomorrow morning? But wait a minute. These powers of the dead. Yes? I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. But think about it this way. If we could use ghost tricks to save, to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me. I'm a desk lamp. <laughs> Why a desk lamp anyway? I'm not really sure myself to be honest. But in any case, it seems like we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. I actually don't remember why he became a desk lamp. You're kidding! You'll only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So this really no escaping my own death? In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story, the lost story of my fate, right up until the time of my death. And until I learn that, you won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. You want to go and learn the truth about your death, as well, as well you should. I will, but let's see, how should I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. The first step? That's easy. You start with her. The person who witnessed your death. She should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right. Not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I doing here tonight, in a place like this? That woman probably knows the answer. That's right. Never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. I should probably keep some of some record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. Press L2 to view a record of what you've learned and be sure to check it out now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things after all. Updated the phone book. Alright then, I wish you good luck. I guess it doesn't end here. Okay, sorry. See here, yeah, I've been doing well, extremely busy. I've been swamped with work lately. I thankfully have time to work on some things now, which I'm very excited about. What you playing here? This is Ghost Trick. This is a demo to Ghost Trick. This was originally released on the DS. It's a mystery thriller type game. And uh, it's being re-released uh, by the end of the month um, on pretty much all modern uh, platforms. Now, I've played it before, I've been it before, I pretty much, I am, I remember the main core of the story. Oh, not that, hold on. No, that would, I think that would be the only thing that makes sense. Oh, sh okay. I thought I would pedal it, but... What in the world just happened? The crane moved all by itself and then that big iron ball fell all by itself. It started raining all by itself and then an umbrella came down all by itself. Oh my goodness! Don't tell me I have psycho, psychokinetic powers. It 
It is. It's so it's really good. Um, I highly recommend this game uh, if you're into anything like mystery type games. It is just a lot of. Uh, it is all completely puzzle solving. So. But seriously, what in the world just happened? What's this? Some kind of note? I want to see that note. I wonder what I wrote in it. Hopefully it's not just a shopping list or something. Yeah, that wouldn't help. Should I check it out? Did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. So you don't remember writing it, eh? No, I don't remember writing it, but even more importantly... I didn't get a chance to read that note. Not to interrupt your train of thought, but I wonder if you've realized where this telephone call is coming from. Huh? How would I know that? Think back. Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't a telephone call come in and around this time too? Oh yeah! It's done. I'm on my way. That telephone call. Exactly. In other words, at this very moment on the other end of this telephone line is the culprit who ordered your murder. What? I recommend you possess the telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your ghost tricks. Oh yeah, I actually remember what that is too. And then I saw him. Right there on the other end of the line, I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Is that done? Speak up, man. Did you get her? Who is this? Hmm. Yes, a thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. Fa ha ha. Yes, you use ghost powers. You are... Basically, you're already dead. When you start the game, you're dead. You don't know why you died. The closest thing that happened is this girl that is being, uh... Basically, having a gun pointed at her and... Your first, the first like inclination you have is to save our life, and basically it goes down to like you're basically try to keep her alive and follow her because you want to know who you are and why you died. Trace complete. So that's him, eh? The man who stole my life. That's right. So what do you think? Would you like to go see him? You better believe I would, that you would do well to listen to me. We ghosts exist by possessing inanimate objects. However, there's one way we can move from place to place over great distances. And that would be? The dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over phone lines. Say what? I've done all I can to help you. You have to do the rest yourself. You're not coming with me? I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. I've already used up most of my remaining strength just to get here tonight. But I had to come, but I had to come to ask for your help. My help? Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I'm trusting in you to get to the bottom of them and find out the truth. You're the only one who can do it, man. Knowing how... N knowing this story, it, I actually now have a pretty good recollection of why he's the death clamp. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. I'm grateful to you for everything you've done, but I can't promise I'll help. Tomorrow morning I cease to, to exist. That doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. Huh? If you succeed in doing that, you have done what I asked anyway. The two are one and the same. One and the same? Hmm. This desk, desk lamp knows a lot, a whole lot more than he's telling me. Now then, 
From that call a moment ago, you now have the culprit's telephone number. The rest is all up to you. And so the story of the search for myself begins. A story that will last only one night only. Tomorrow morning I will cease to exist and I'm surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed and what exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll probably restart the game when I get the full game anyways. Can I even continue playing? If so, then this is a longer demo than I remember the DS having. Who am I? Why was I killed? The one in, the one who is sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. Sounds like a really crazy way to start a story. You want to know what happened to you? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I will tell you what you will probably never guess where the story goes. I'll tell you that. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who had me killed, our meeting. It's all so sudden. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Then I absolutely recommend you pick up this game. It comes out, I think, on June 30th. Um, there is no physical copy for the US. Like I'm actually getting mine from Play Asia, which is the Asian release one, which will have English. And basically importing it. This game right now, if you try to find the DS version, our store, the store I work at, has two copies, and it's 150. Thankfully, I already have a copy of the game, so. <laughs> hmm, yes, if I read in this file, is, if what I read in this, if what I read in this file is true, this woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased tonight. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I have already taken the next step, sir. Did I say sir twice? Did I even say it twice? The perks have worked. I've, no, no. I picked up this game when it first released. Uh, I pre-ordered the game way back when. So I remember seeing the trailer for it and thinking, wow, this, this looks like my kind of game. And it absolutely is. That's why, yeah, like, I already have it, but I'm excited to play it again. Especially stream it, because there's probably going to be some people who won't ever play it that I know. But if I, you know, if I even encourage anyone to uh, play the game, I'll just be like, hey, if you plan to play a game, Dude, just pick it up and stop watching my stream. <laughs> I mean, when I actually stream the full game, you know what I mean? It's just the demo. But it's basically the beginning of the game. I mean, it, it exactly is the beginning of the game. Hmm, yes. But I say, the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Even if I was only over the telephone. I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite the tizzy there for a moment. Fahaha. <laughs> what is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music, and that odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure, these people are assassins. And what's more, that red-haired woman is another of their targets. The foul the old man has. Maybe it'll give me some information on my, on my redhead. Update the phone book. Let's see. I think I just had to, uh, see this. Mm, yes, how much longer, my good man? We are charging up our backup power now, sir. The process should be complete in about 30 minutes, sir. Hmm, yes. But confound that Jigo, I say. Ah, oh, I'm using the wrong voice. Every year, his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. He'll get coal in his next pay env envelope, confound it. Or might I suggest glasses in his envelope instead, sir? 
Let's see. I've gotten introduced to many new games from watching people stream them. I don't mind too much. Yeah. We're gonna examine this book. It seems this file contains information about that redhead, but I can't read it when it's closed. Great Scott! Did you see that? The file, I see. The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target Miss Lin is no longer a threat, sir. Bah, that's not what I'm talking about, man. Hmm, Lin, eh? So that's her name, is it? But this file, it's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? You have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. So the stuff I will say that I can't remember is actually why they want her dead. I know she's special, but I don't remember exactly why they want her dead. Time. Are there any new games you've been introduced to? I feel like, you know, every major and smaller game uses this already. Um, I mean, besides like any new games coming out, I can't think of any game that I, I, what do you mean, like newly introduced to while watching people stream? Probably not really. I think there was maybe one or two games that I've seen people stream that I'm like, oh, what is this? But outside of that, I actually don't remember if um, I've seen any new games. I mean, one of the games I'm going to be streaming after this is uh, the demo for Liza P. I'm excited to try that out. This is a pickle. The phone and I got put away neatly. And the only thing I've learned is the name Lin. This sure is a weird room. I traveled through the phone line to get here, but where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? Got the lamp. Operate. Hey, God, man, are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but that... But I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Bah, granted technology is certainly a convenient thing. But our use of it is just plain off, confound it. Hmm, yes, in any case. Oh, oh, I did that. Huh, how did, how did I do that? Yes, in any case. I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? Disco ball? Oh. <laughs> ah. Hey, that's... Hmm, yes. Siso. If all goes well, if all goes well with our deal tonight, we have the power to change the world, sir. Hmm, yeah. How am I doing that? Hold on. Ah, I see. It's because of the button on my uh, controller. It's uh, the DualSense Edge. Hmm, yes, it's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust that CISO. No, you must be very careful. CISO? That must be my name. Not that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, eh? What could that, all that be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? We are completely prepared for tonight, sir. Hmm, yes. Now all I have to do is pluck the food of success. Pluck, pluck the food of success. Hmm, fa ha ha. One thing's clear, these villains seem to know me. And another thing, there seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Let's 
see. I may have to uh, operate again, probably. Yeah. Oh, that's still not working. Wish your head, man. I told you I don't wish to see his this face. My apologies, sir. There seems to be another malfun malfunction, sir. Well, get it fixed, man. Unless you want to see me me malfunction. Certainly, sir. These guys murdered me, and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection do we have with each other? Before that, see what he's about to say here. I say this room is giving me the heebie-jeebies, my good man. What with the what with painting spinning around and the like, it's enough to give a man the jitters. My apologies, sir. The room was just completed recently, sir. We are still trying to iron out the kink, sir. Hmm. Yes. I just hope that's all it is. I mean, egad, man. How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? Let's see. Are you doing multiple multi streams tonight? Yes. I'm doing three demos tonight. So after I finish this demo, I'm going to do the Liza P demo. And after I finish the Liza P demo, I'm going to do the Final Fantasy 16 demo. It's a miserable state of affairs when I can't even be stirred by a telephone that doesn't even ring. Eat that. It's even more pathetic to be started by the same telephone twice. Bah! The problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lin problem, sir. What? Lin? Hmm, yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you? My good man. Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead, Tango, to her apartment, sir. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. Lin is in danger again. This is one step ahead, Tengo. I'm at the target's apartment now. And? Out with it, man. Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? I don't get it, but in any case, man. Once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division. Bah! No, man! <laughs> now you're even getting me one step... <laughs> now you're even getting one step ahead of me. We can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott! Now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead! I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confound it! You've been hanging up on one step ahead! <gasps> Trace complete. Lynn's apartment. What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of nearside Jigo's pay. Lin, I can't lose her. She's my only lead if I ever, ever hope to solve the mystery of myself of me. Oh, right, I gotta die. Did the demo did the original demo go this far? I don't think it does. Wow, who is that on the floor? Telephone line guided me to Lin's apartment. Fortunately, Lin isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. And there are a couple other unfortunate little developments waiting for me to, for me it seems. Hmm, it looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. And an even unlucky unluckier little doggy. The poor brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lin, came, if Lin came home now, I have to do something about the situation and fast. Trick time. We got dial. 
<laughs> oh, where am I? Oh, right. Whose voice can I do for this? <laughs> and who am who more to the point? Who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Well, of course. Do you see anyone else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach you, the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is trying talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are presumably the little doggy who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see. The dead lose their memories. They even look forget what they look like. So that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh. There's no time to lose. <laughs> Miss, Cam Miss Camila. My Miss Camila is in trouble. What? Michaela's here? Thank you for the sub. Or did someone sub to Michaela? Actually. <laughs> How are you doing? What? I'm surprised you're... Well, actually, I guess I'm not too surprised that you're awake. And I got sent a reel. Hmm. Hold on. What is this? They'll go, yeah, you still like, yo, the demo's going great. It's a game I have played and beaten before back when it's on the DS. Uh, I definitely plan to stream the game again when it comes out. Uh, well, actually, it comes out at the end of the month and I'll be streaming Final Fantasy 16, so maybe not. At least not right away. But I definitely recommend the game. I actually think you would like this game. I very much think you would like this game because it's like a murder mystery type game. You mean you remember? You know who you are? That's right, I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. I'm a Pomeranian. Oh, I had a Pomeranian. Well, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camila! Miss Camila! My Miss Camila is in trouble and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How how can I let her down like this? She more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, eh? I like your moxie, little doggy. <laughs> Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save this his life. I'm surprised at how far this demo is allowing me to go. Four minutes before death. Let's see. First of all, I better find out what I can find. What I can find out about your death, little guy. Seen back in the day, but never picked it up. Probably played it off stream. I, uh, yeah. I mean, you can. I I can see why you would play it off stream because you'll be playing also Final Fantasy 16. Oh yeah, you've already been on for an hour. Yeah, no, it's fine. I plan to stream three demos tonight, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be on for a little bit. It's just my counter will keep resetting. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed you. I brought me with you. One or the other. Hmm, it looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time, man. Not especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that... It's not so strange that you could walk backwards through time. <laughs> so that's the way your mind works, eh? I guess that's reasonable enough. Well, the demos I'm going to do after this, the Lies of P demo. And then after that, I'm going to do Final Fantasy 16. Come on, come on, let's get started. Okay, first we watch the last four minutes unfold. Then we use what we learned to save Camila. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course. Leave it to me, sniff out a few clues. Two sniff out a few clues. Yippee, found the remote. Shut 
Shut that mutt up. No, mister, you're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down. You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? Why do you bark like that so much anyway? You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn, I really want to watch TV, too. Hey, I know. I'll listen to music. Oops, oops. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. Lucky you have a whole tray. It's so great to see stuff like that because you can all like you can already tell immediately how some of the how you move through some of the game or the room. I'll knock this wall down. <laughs> hmm. I don't really like it when jobs outside the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as a separate charge and accounting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry kid. And there goes Missile. So that's the whole dramatic story of what happened 4 minutes before you died. Wow look at that, I'm dead. I'm kinda shocked to tell the truth. Okay let's get started on saving her. But let's see, how are we going to do this? It seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a big bite of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! I can't help it! Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. I don't think she could do that. Did you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the, he the headphones? Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it. I, ca I can call her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me. To be per perfectly honest, I hate those red things. Hmm, you're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we know we have to do something about that. Okay. Let's see here. Let's open the door. Dial the phone. Extend the... Oh yeah. Yeah, that would be it. Hmm. That's funny. What's wrong? The telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line grows, glows red, but it's dark right now. Hmm. Looks like you can't use the telephone lines in the four minutes before death world. Oh wait, let's see. What's the clue? Well, can't we change the little lady's fate by just standing around watching? The intruder in black will be entering this room in just four short minutes. And my ghost tricks can only get me so far. If I want to save the little lady, I'm going to have to get her cooperation. And the first step is to get rid of anything that might get in the way. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, I have to kind of wait, I think, for her to bring the donuts over. And I can read all that again. Can't dial. Yeah, I just had to wait. How's everyone doing? How was your vacation, Michaela? If you're still here. <laughs> oh, this isn't good. Miss Camilla is going to put those red things on her head. Yeah, I know. And once she gets them on, it's all over. 
she won't be able to hear a thing. What can I do? That's when I open this door. Oh, why is it acting up all of a sudden? I don't really like getting smacked by doors, especially in my own house. It's like the door is a bad dog biting the hand that feeds it. Although with Misso, it's more like nibbling at the tip of my nose than my hand. Than my hand. I'm not sure if there's anything else I can do here. Ah! Ah! I think I, I think I screwed that up already. Hmm. Where'd the notice go? Oh, dang it. Did I miss that already? Wait. Okay. Have to wait for that thing to roll around. Okay. I need to save missile. Nope, not yet. It looks like I'm down to only a few more seconds. Miss Camille, we have to do something. We just have to. Now, now, getting worked up isn't going to help. We're down to the wire here. Do we have enough time to do something to change your fate? Or is it time to use another one of my ghost tricks? Another ghost trick? What is it? We could rewind time and start all over again from four minutes ago. Whatever we do, we better hurry. How do I actually rewind? Because it is already... Oh, there we go. Okay. Guess I have to rewind the clock again and see if I can pick up any other clue. Yeah. Let's see. Finding playing Street Fighter 6 right now. You suck, yeah. <laughs> Not too surprising. Uh, it's, it's tough. Definitely tough to uh, get used to. Oh, can we change the little, uh, oh those are the little hints I mean yes it is but I mean the check marks that's what I'm talking about oh you can't do modern I can't do modern when I played the demo, I was, I mean, I can do modern, but I didn't really like it. Gotta wait for it to... There we go. Boom.
Oh, no, darn. How did I manage to do that? Then just bought those headphones too. How about we tell her you did it, Missile? Ah. Darn, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camilla. I'm only doing it to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, eh? Huh? No, never mind that. The important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Fate changed. Oh, let's see. The question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if only I had big, strong teeth and aggressive, and an aggressive spirit. Hmm, doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman from coming in. So in that case, oh, I have an idea. Why don't we hide Miss Camilla? Hide, huh? That sounds just like the kind of idea a little doggy would come up with. Are you making fun of me? But where could a little lady hide in this room? Under the couch, obviously. Hmm, I think I might hide just the place. But there's just one little problem. How to get Miss Camilla in there, right? Exactly. If I could possess Camilla herself, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only other way... Only way to do it is to lead her there. Now what can I use... No, what can I do using the objects in this room? I think I'll try out various things to see what I can come up with. And I'll be here watching, cheering you on! Roughly the same idea here. Oh wait, I think I can rock the bow. Bow, there you go. Rotate faster. I wonder if I can actually... There we go. Latch. <laughs> Mister, if you bark like that, you'll make the lady next door start howling. If you keep this up, the wall is going to come down on our heads before we know it. But you'll protect me if anything ha bad happens, right, Mister? Of course I will. That's quite a big promise for a little fellow. The poor little guy is up against some formidable opponents. The man in black and the woman in purple. Wait. Can't. Seem to. Ah. Why do you always give your mistress so much trouble? Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. But when that little guy starts squeaking, it gets me oh, all up and all in an uproar. And when I bark, Miss Camilla always comes over and gives me a nice hug. Hmm, we might be able to take advantage of that, advantage of that piece of information. Huh? How? Wherever the donut falls, the rat shows up to check it out. And then you go bark at the rat. And then our little lady comes to, quiet, comes to you to quiet you down. Yes, that's just the way things work, I'm afraid. So in other words, the donut can be the bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. Slower. Oh wait, I think I should probably move the cart first.
No. Huh? I can't make another donut fall. Hmm, what do we do now? Without the donut, the squeaky guy won't come back and I won't bark. No, it looks like the only one donut will fall, but the donut's the only bait that will lead the little lady to where we want where we want her. Maybe I should rethink my plan of attack. Gotta rewind after this fate change. Mr. No! What are you doing under the here, you silly boy? I'm a little Mr. You're always doing the cutest things. There we go. Nobody's nobody's here, eh? I was almost gonna do uh Django's voice. My prey is bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. <laughs> Gary, how's it going? Yeah, it has been a while, sorry. A lot of uh, things happened. <laughs> there, our little lady's fate has been averted. It has? The poor thing is still curled up in a bar and shaking with fear. Oh yeah, that's true. But that's not so bad. In the scheme of things, I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right. We did it. Uh, we did it, didn't we? We did it! Well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I saved Miss Camilla? Yep. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh. Oh, thank you. Can I ask a question? Sure, what is it? What exactly are the strange power of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then I can do them too. I'm dead too, after all. I, I guess that's how it goes, right? I've been start staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now, but they won't budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. But I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair. Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets, this, gets the power of powers of the dead. So what's going to happen to me now? Nothing really, your death has been erased. You just go back to being a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. Yes, this means goodbye. But we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe, if you die again. What you did for me tonight? I'll never forget it. <laughs> well, I guess we better get ba be getting back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. And now a new present is born. Did you get a chance to play the Final Fantasy 16 demo? I'm doing that tonight, actually. After I finish this demo, I'll be playing Lies of P demo. After I play the Lies of P demo, I'll be playing the Final Fantasy 16 demo. That is the plan for tonight. The little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. I might actually move Final Fantasy 16 demo to tomorrow because this is actually a surprisingly longer demo than I expected it to have. The little dog is wagging his tail happily. So what am I going to do now? 
I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. And there's the phone call. Yeah, I've heard that the demo, they already said that it's be longer than two hours. So I might not do the Final Fantasy 16 demo tonight. I actually expect this, expected this demo to be like half an hour. I'm <laughs> so I'm actually surprised I'm still going. <sighs> hmm, I guess my prey, prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. I can't let Nearsai Jigo beat me out on this one. I better hurry. What was that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Misso? I just know you did. More than you know. Maybe I shouldn't answer it. Then! Trick time. There's that little doggy all curled up on the floor. Dreaming away the life we worked so hard to get back from. That's fine, but what's up with the core? With that core? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Desk Lamp taught me. So what would a living dog and what would a living and breathing dog doggy be doing with the core? I better try possessing him and see. Oh, it's you, it's you! It's hmm. Come to think of it, I never did ask your name. I guess it's good we ran into each other again then. This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we shared together, the drama, that tearful goodbye? I'm Misso! But you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me, now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it! Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear, and the dead I met in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And if I possess that core, then I can talk to that person. And if I then possess that core, I can talk to that person. It looks that way, yes! Let's see... Oh. Hmm, that Camilla, it, ne it never fails. What never fails? Every time she gets on that black hello, she talks and talks and forgets all about me. Oh, the telephone. The black hello. <laughs> No matter how much I run around and show off, she never even glances at me. That was you showing off, eh? Well, I would like to hear what the ladies are talking about. Oh, so would I. Camilla! Oh, thank goodness you're, you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me, you've got to get out of here, right now. But what about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while, and you might be in danger if you stay there too. But I already was in danger, just a little while ago. Meet me at the restaurant, the chicken, the chicken kitchen. On Dead End Drive. Oh yeah, that's a... Not a, uh... Oh. <laughs> Dead End Drive? I don't know, that's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. Then you can't very well call it a music box, can you? More like just box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Excuse me. Then! <laughs> Not again! Darn, now I've dropped the phone in there too! How about we tell her you did it, Missile? <laughs> but I sure hope Lynn's alright. 
I better get going. I know where, right where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box on here. Where am I supposed to find it? Oh, we found it. Do you know where it is, Missile? Help me look, okay? That wooden box that just fell. That just might be the music box we're looking for. I bet the little lady will know when she sees it. We're really close now. Hmm. The cart moved just now, didn't it? I'm telling you, this building leans to one side. Ever since that lady moved in next door. You're right next to the music box. Hmm. How else do I get her to notice that music box? Oh, maybe if I like this. Yeah, that's right. Duh. <laughs> this is it. The music box. Yippee! I'll leave the remote here. But don't you touch it, missile. If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I hate to find you flattened underneath that wall when I came home. Okay, I'm leaving now, missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? You be good while I'm away, and no barking. Still no peace for the little lady, and the redhead Lin is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a thick pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too, because there's something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? I'm like, this must be the end of the demo, because that's pretty lengthy. Yep. Well, maybe. Or it might just lead me to the next chapter. There we go, yeah. That's pretty much what I expected. Yeah, I definitely will be playing the full version of the game again. Especially for people who never going to play it. But if it encourages anybody else to play it for themselves, I definitely would like to because I... I very much enjoyed this game the first time around and it's good to see you playing it again. It's much so much smoother on the TV too, or on modern consoles. Okay. Chaos! So my teacher is rude, he is talking non-stop, so I can't hear you. <laughs> Your teacher? The heck are you doing here? And he's like, are you in class or something? Thank you for the hydrates and the posture checks. Oh, thank you for the stretches. Oh. Okay, well, I am going to actually use the bathroom and then uh, I'm going to be back with Lies of P. Huh, that's uh, pun unintended. <laughs> but yeah, it was good to play this game again. I will definitely stream the uh, game when it comes out too. I don't know. If, I don't think I'm... Well, I, not. I don't think... I won't play this game on launch, especially because I'm going to be importing my game from uh, 
Asia anyways. I'm getting the detective bundle too, that comes with extra stuff. But yeah, I'll be back, alright? And I'll be back with the Liza P demo.